Welcome to another day in the matrix, waters above crypto. Today we're going to be going over Bitcoin, XRP, and a bunch of other altcoins. Today's looking really exciting for the market, with the stock market being closed today for Good Friday. <laughs> and um, yesterday we launched our Patreon and we started onboarding people into the Mastermind community. So if you guys were interested in joining the Mastermind community or getting the Mastermind course, the links will be in the description. And um, also we'll be doing our next giveaway when we reach 5,000 subscribers. We did our uh, winner yesterday for the last giveaway and he contacted me, <laughs> very happy that he won. So that was great to have um, that all work out smoothly and I want to appreci appreciate all your support. So with that being said, if you're new here, we do technical analysis on cryptocurrency and also combine it with gematria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets. So let's get into the charts. I was going over yesterday the monthly close that we saw for Bitcoin and a couple other cryptocurrencies. Of course, looking very bullish with this massive green candle move into April. I was also talking about how um, typically April is one of the best months for cryptocurrencies, um, and it's also one of the better months for the stock market. There's never been historically a crash that's happened in April, and May also looks pretty promising as well. And um, I have a Zodiac presentation coming out soon on my private mastermind course, which will go over um, a theory I have as to why that's going on, why the markets have the crashes all happen in similar months, and why they do really well in similar months. And I believe that it has to do with Zodiac, so basically astrology. And um, that's been what my work has been focusing on as of late into my research and how it all ties back into these cryptocurrencies and the technical analysis. So I'm going to hide the drawing or I'm going to hide the indicators and we're just going to look at this white trend line. Right. So I was discussing um, yesterday how we have two uh, things to look out for. One is this golden pocket, which we're in right now. And this moving out of the golden pocket and also getting above this white trend line. And I was showing that I believe this circle right here is the same thing that we're experiencing right now today. So these last couple days look almost identical to these moves right here into this move out of the box. And I'm anticipating that could be happening as early as um, tomorrow. Although I don't want it to happen tomorrow because with the market being closed, and cryptos being overly bullish over the weekend, uh, it's not nice. Uh, typically, we have this massive correction pullback like we see right here. Excuse me, I pointed over here, but I meant to say right here. So this move right here, it was over a weekend, and then the institutions pulled us right on back. So there could be a possibility for tomorrow to have a premature breakout up to like 63,000 possibly, and then we just come right back down into Monday and then back test this 786 right here. I'll zoom in now that we've uh, come to terms on what's going on here. So the move will look like this if it goes the way that I'm uh, um, imagining. Let's just say we get today's daily close above the 786. We will all ultimately break above this line moving into the weekend, maybe get to 63,000, 64,000. And then there's a potential for this where the institutions pull back the price into Monday and then there's a nice little move up. Is there any holidays on Monday? I actually haven't um, looked into that. Um, Oh yes, yeah, Sunday is Easter. <laughs> Damn, I actually forgot. I, I ever since I started like taking, you know, the red pills and being more open-minded and conscious, I don't even look at calendars anymore. So this is hilarious that a four-four date numerology with April forty-four, um, and Sunday Ishtar. <laughs> going to be interesting. So yeah, I mean, that would be a perfect time for Bitcoin to do a little move. And um, of course, this would be a technical thing I just explained. This is technical. This doesn't have to do with what will happen. Again, these markets are ran using gematria, numerology, astrology. So we can just absolutely pump right on up to 70k pretty quickly. Um, the big target to the upside would be this 1618, which is pretty typical, the golden ratio when you're using Fibonacci. 
And um, yep, so that would be how I would anticipate this would go. We could move like this. And then once we break above the previous high, sorry about that, it would go up to here and then probably fight on this for a moment until it's ready to hit the higher um, numbers. And I've also mentioned that I'm looking for a $72,000 Bitcoin in April. So 72 is my big target. We could of course go higher leading into May. And the way that I was um, figuring that out was not only by using Gamatria, but also by using this chart right here. And I've showed you guys this chart time and time again. So with this, this move right here into the weekend, we could totally just pump like to this heart line, then dance on the heart line and then move up to the top sometime into the middle of April. That would be a more technical structure. Um, but this heart line right here, this yellow line is going to be resistance. Okay. It's resistance until it's support. And you could see that's been going on all the way back since before the actual um, year of 2021 started. This is one of the best charts you can use. It's very simple. You just get a parallel channel um, by going here and then draw that parallel channel on the bottoms and then pull it up to match the tops and you get a very clear channel. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to XRP. And I made a private mastermind video yesterday discussing one of the things that I was seeing going on here with XRP. And I brought up the monthly chart because of the monthly close we had. I'm going to reset this and I'm going to make the screen bigger. And I was uh, theorizing that this, this month right here of 2018, you see this random green month, that was in April. Okay, so imagine XRP pumped all the way up to three bucks and then it pulled back really quickly to like the 60 cent range, 50 cent range, which is where it's kind of battling right now. And then it just had this amazing April, a 66 percent uh, gain. Right. And also from open till wick high was 94 percent. So imagine we just opened up this month. Right. And imagine we copied and we went up 94 percent just for shits and giggles, right? We're looking at a gain of potentially, um, if we matched, a dollar and 10 cents. <laughs> so we've been saying that there's a potential for a $1 Bitcoin in April, sorry, not $1, $1 XRP in April. I made a video about that a couple days ago and I'm sticking to that because there's technical reasons and then there's also historical data that shows that April is actually a really good performing month. How could it be that in such a bearish um, time for XRP and a pump and dump that April is just so amazing and then the rest of it continues on a downtrend, right? That's pretty interesting to see. Um, even right here, look at this. One of this good months out of all the months, right? I'll, I'll make the chart look like this so you can see much easier. That month right there is a May. So this April and May could be massive, right? We've already had a really nice start of the year for XRP. Just so far, we've gained 170% since the start of the year. So if you bought that dip and then continued to, <laughs> to just hold, you're almost up 200%. Like, I mean, I don't see where anyone's complaining, right? If you invest in the average stock market, you gain like 15 to 30% per year. And you've already almost 2x'd your money or, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I don't want to rant in this video. I just want to give you guys the analysis. So the point being is that if we're going to see that $1, it's going to have to be with a daily close above 60 cents. And then we're going to have to see continuation up to a, a weekly or even a monthly close would be better um, above 70 cents. So what that means is, let's just say we get that $1 XRP where it goes like this. It gets the daily close, back tests, moves up pretty fast, and then it just wants to go parabolic into that $1 range, right? We can still have a correction after that where it goes like this into 60, and we could get a monthly close at 60, or sorry, 70 cents, and that would still be bullish as hell. So if we get even though moving into the end of April, a 70 cent after reaching those $1 levels, that's a technical move that would be amazing as a continuation pattern and to have a larger trading range, right? One of the things that XRP just fulfilled was a larger trading range in this region. 
the 20 cent to the 70 cent level. You can see that whole trading range if you just clear out this chart and you see the tops and where it was seeing resistance around the 65 cent level. And then you could see the support right here around the 23, 24 cent level. That trading range right there is something we're getting close to breaking out of. And with that being said, we're, um, we have some historical data for April to tell us that that's a very good month and also for, for May. So um, again, let's look at ETH. Remember I was saying in a video um, a couple of videos ago that when something is boring, that's when you want to buy. And look at what's going on with ETH. It is, it's moving up in a straight line. Sorry about this. I'm going to hide this and then we will show you what's up. Right, so we're looking at a 33% increase in just a very short move of time. And this has just made a new all-time high today. So ETH is now in price discovery, and look at this W pattern breakout, right? So there's a possibility now for it to come back and backtest the $1,930 area to confirm this neckline as a support, and then that would be the most bullish scenario. It's sort of like what I said about XRP moving to a dollar, then coming back to back to 70 cents. This is what we would want to see on Ethereum. And if I show you my trend lines, you see this white trend line right here. I'm very sorry for how uh, discombobulated this chart looks. I, I really need to get a cleaner chart. But I'm not really huge on to doing TA on ETH. I don't hold a lot of ETH. Um, my average buy-in is all the way down here at four, $420, but I'm still like not, su I don't really care too much about it. I look at ETH as sort of a compass for some of my other bigger holdings. So when ETH and XRP do really well, all the other altcoins do insane, right? So that's just something that I like. ETH is my technical indicator for other things going on in the market. That gives you a little bit of understanding into my mindset. So again, let's uh, track this symmetrical triangle that we were um, looking at with Chainlink yesterday, and you could see it's getting close. So the technical move um, for that would be the $47 level. And um, what we would want now is not only a daily close outside of this symmetrical triangle, but we want to see it come back and back test it. That would be, sorry, back test the down sloping uh, resistance. That would be flipping its support. Zilliqa going apeshit today. Um, Zilliqa is one of like my gems. It's one of my bigger holdings. I'm really excited about this project. And um, this chart just looks ridiculous. I keep stair-stepping up, very similar to the way that um, XLM has been behaving. And this 23.5 level is the all-time high. So we're getting very, very close to the all-time high. We're looking at um, a very small move of just uh, 18%, 19%. So 20% up from here, and we have a new all-time high with Zillica, and then it'll enter price discovery, and it'll be the first time all the way since um, 2018 in May. So wow, um, it would be amazing if we saw like something big technical happen on May 11th leading into the that anniversary of that high, I would probably assume 40 to 50 cents. 50 cents would make the most sense because that's a psychological resistance. Um, that would be a psychological level. So 50 cents for Zill in uh, May sounds perfectly uh, possible to me. Uh, v chains doing pretty uh, pretty um, normal today, but V Thor is just going going off, and that's really interesting to see. Um, look at this structure; it's um, that's actually a very nice structure because it's showing you that it's coming to backtest previous levels. So if I leave my cursor right here, you can see at the one cent one three cent level, it came popped up nice and high, and then it came and backtested that previous level right here, and now it's moving. So that's a technical thing that shows you that this is a rever it's called a reversal, sign of reversal. And that would uh, pretty much give me a V-shape recovery. It'll look something potentially similar to right here. And uh, anyone holding VeChain, congratulations, because this uh, token you're earning by staking VeChain is going to be very lucrative in the future. The last one is uh, Theta. We're still following Theta again. Look at Theta putting in doji candles. It's getting, it's consolidating. 
while a ton of everything else is going off. So this is why technical analysis is so important because you guys have been watching my videos and seeing the way that I've been looking at data. I've been saying it needs a correction. And um, I don't want to keep be beating a dead horse here by exposing these indicators because, I mean, you've seen it time and time again. But got the bearish cross on the MACD. The RSI has now gotten into a reasonable level, but it still has room to come down to about 45. And then I'm looking for this red moving average, which is the 34 EMA, to be the level where it pulls back to. So we can move sideways as this EMA rises. I'm still looking for that red uh, 34 EMA to be the back tested level before continuation. And the fact that it's sub $10, like it's not a big deal. It's only 30. 40 percent you know so if anyone doesn't have any theta like you're not really saving a ton of money by waiting for that nine dollar level again that's not financial advice it's just better to get in because these alts they just they pop off when you're least expecting them to any news could come out at any minute to give the normies the sheep an idea to where this crypto can be speculated and in the background the whales are just moving it however they want so Again, Theta, it's going to do really, really well. I've been seeing people come out with videos talking about like $3,000 Theta and shit like that. Like, I don't know. I I, don't know. I wouldn't go there. Um, that's kind of like something Bitcoin did, you know? So again, when people like shit talk on Bitcoin and they're only into altcoins, people need to remember that Bitcoin went from one penny, less than a penny, to where it's at today at $60,000. So that's like Nimic going from a penny where it's at now to $60,000 in, in 10 years. That's, you know, just saying. So when I look at Bitcoin, I look at it as the money of this space. It's trading above a trillion dollar market cap. It just is what it is. 74 to probably 76% of all Bitcoin is illiquid at this time. It's becoming one of the most scarce assets and uh, you need to have some, like it's just basic. But with that being said, um, I think that this market's setting up for more continuation as long as XRP keeps heading towards that 60 cent level and uh, ETH is in price discovery, all these other alts are going to do really, really well. Predominantly, Zillica is about to break its previous all-time high. With that being said, when it breaks its uh, previous all-time high, it's gonna, I think it's going to move. Um, I think it's going to move fast and we're not going to really be able to have time to even think about the, the speed at which it moves. And Zill is also sort of like Theta, where it could just keep going beyond technicals and beyond any uh, reason. It could just move. Okay, so with that being said, I'm probably um, going to make a video tomorrow, depending on what's going on. If you guys are interested in joining the uh, Mastermind community or getting the Mastermind course, feel free to uh, contact me via email and in, in the description or you can click on the link which will send you to the patreon i'm really excited to have all you guys jo joining our uh, mastermind group and looking to uh, keep red pilling everyone out there so enjoy the rest of your day in the matrix much love